Round 2 of the Emirates Desert Championship concluded at the Margam Desert with the participation of 135 drivers and riders, breaking the three-week record of 100. The second round saw some shake-up in the results, but not in the overall ranking. Ahmed Al Magoudi powered his way to a convincing cars victory on board his Polaris buggy, sending a warning to fellow Emirati driver Ahmed Al Fahim, who had to settle for the eighth place. Al Magoudi was followed by Andrei Cherendikov, who came second in a Nissan, ahead of Chris Jackson's Canam buggy. In the bikes category, British Jake Shipton snatched the first position, winning over Kuwaiti Mohammed Jafar, while category leader Mohammed Leblouchi came third, yet kept his leading position in the overall ranking. In the quads category, Hamid Al Majghouni managed to return his overall lead despite finishing third behind Mohammed Al Shamsi and Alex McFarlane. The president of the Automobile and Touring Club of the UAE and FIA Vice President Mohammed bin Slayim explained why 135 competitors is a good and healthy number. Yes, I think it's 135 and that's a big number. If it is more, I think we'll have to have two organizations where we have to uh, um, have the uh, um, entry up to a certain number because of the safety also. No, the, the, the weather has changed, the temperature has dropped, the quality of the um, uh, competitors, some of them are our friends from the World Cup, which is the Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge. So it's a healthy championship. I just hope that uh, uh, more entry and quality entry also will be there. And here is the trophy ceremony and the overall ranking, followed by a few words from round two winners. Yeah, it's the second race of the season, the Baja season. Um, yeah, for me it was good. Um, my friend Sam Sunderland, he rides for Factory Red Bull KTM in the Dakar Rally. Um, you know, I live with him, train with him, uh, obviously ride and race with him. Um, so I wish him all the best. Um, but yeah, for me it was a good day. Um, I learned from him. Um, KTM Middle East, KTM Dubai is a good day. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm learning all the time. It's not easy and uh, not difficult because uh, I'm living in this area and I know all the place here. Maybe it's easy for us and um, you should care about your uh, car and your bike till in the, in the race.